working on this um, iCAD size black paper. I have these um, little geometric uh, stained glass coloring books and I thought I would use them as the pattern. I'm cutting out. I might be doing it a hard way. I have black paper AT, uh, um, index card size and I'm just doing it. The well, way I want to try to do it is just to go over it and follow the lines with my knife and try to cut through one right now and see how that goes. This is going to worry about the three that have to go out. And yeah, concentrate on that. Try to get this cut out and straight here. Like I said, the corner is kind of it's hard to get the corners. You don't want to go too far in with the knife. So it's just like a matter of just kind of snipping the corners. Making sure it's all pulled, it all snips so you don't pull it and rip it. And these little peaks here are sometimes not, this one's not cut right through. So I think you guys might have seen me just little snippets of me snippets <laughs> snippets of me uh, doing this, and you don't really need to have too much um, video on this. So that's why I'm kind of cutting it out and stuff. But it's just a matter of being careful and uh, getting to those corners. I'm keeping all these pieces too for anything else because it's going to fit together really nice. Most of them are coming out really nice, not getting messed up. So this is my third one. So I'll be back when I'm getting them all done. Now I have them done. This is what they look like. They're pretty close to the same. So I'm thinking about using one of my jelly prints for the stained glass look and I'm just going to match up one that would look good. I don't know. I'm just checking. See, I could just do something else too. But mm. the ones here are the ones with the watercolor that I used water, uh, the water crayons on when I did my um, jelly prints. I used watercolors on them. And then there's some gold. So we'll see how that turned out. I'm just going to put the Mod Podge on top. And I don't know what I'm going to do for my, what I'm going to do for my saying, if I'm going to have one. I don't know. So I'm just going to th put this on. And it's so perfect because I measured it from the iCAD size. So it's just putting it, laying it on nice and flat. And then the next part I have to get done. But it does fit nicely. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I did have a little cut piece, but now that it's glued down, it's glued together with it. So it's like a little sliver kind of off. It doesn't even show now, so that's nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to Mod Podge over top yet. I might. So that looks nice. I like that. So now I'm starting to already use my jelly prints. So exciting. I decided to do these ones on the index card. Well, the jelly plate is only 3 by 5 so I thought, well, I'll get a lot of use out of that, especially if I'm out and about, like camping or, or you know, and you get that niche to do a little crafting, but you don't really want to bring a whole bunch of things to cut. You just play with some paints. So that's why I kind of wanted to get it. The jelly print small one. And I really like it. Or jelly plate. There's that one. Isn't that cute? 
It's like a stained glass look. So this is the jelly plate in here. I'm just going to show you guys that I used. Three by five. So, love it. And keep you guys, keep watching because I'm going to have a giveaway for my birthday and the jelly plate is going to be in the giveaway for that in May, starting May. So I'm going to have the whole month of May time for my giveaway. So keep your eyes open for that, guys. This is a really nice one, too. It's one of my favorites. Hope I'm using it to the best ability. I just sometimes you want to save a card for something because it's so pretty. Or, you know. But you gotta use it. Gotta use it all up. Oh, it's so pretty. This one's one of my favorites. I can't wait to even play more. See how pretty that is? It's gonna push this down. I really like it a lot. So it has a nice sheen to the the uh, black cardstock that I have on top. Let's make it perfect, pretty full. Now I have no idea what else I'm going to do with these yet, but I got a good start on them with this wonderful stained glass look. And I just layered the cards together and cut through. And I have a fourth one that's partially cut and I have to work on it. And that one could be for mine to keep. Um, that's what we're supposed to do for this swap that Nikki Parr is doing in International Crafters. So make four cards, keep one, and send three off. But I'm working on the three that I'm sending off right now. So, yeah. This one looks like I have to reposition it a little bit or add more glue underneath. That's a little bit. It's got a little bit of lift. May not be on there quite straight. That's my problem. And then my third one. This one's my favorite, I think. Although I do like this color with the stained glass, but this is my favorite card in the background. Yep. This one does have a little bit of a, a wave to it. I didn't put it down, and I can't really pull it back up. It'll tear the black cardstock. But so just put it down carefully if you're doing it this way but this is kind of a neat way it takes a little longer because you have to cut through each but it didn't take too long of course they're not all exactly the same but they're pretty close this one is just a couple pieces I actually might be able to lift it's just not going down quite and if I can get it up to lift, to really hear it. I don't know. I think I'm just going to push it down. Yeah, this one went on a little bit with a wave, so... It's a bit of a wave to it. There's this one. You can notice I put it down too quickly. There's a bit of a wave in it on that one. And then there's this one. So that's what I have for now. So this is what they look like nice and dry. I love it and I love the sheen on the black too. So I don't know. This is this really cute idea. Um, 
the stained glass idea, which is Nikki Parr's, and I just like the way it turned out with the jelly prints, so that's pretty cool. Putting them in the background. Um, you could even just do it in a white paper and color it in, or watercolor it in, or something, but I want to use my jelly prints, so yeah, that's cool. So now I want to put like a little something and a, some kind of inspirational something a saying or a quote or something I think I don't know yeah I have my cream card stock out and I'm gonna try stamping this little girl one of my stamping up stamps and see how I like that. So I also use this pad for stamping on. So then it makes a nice stamp image. Nice soft background. It's always nice to stand up here. Nice to um, make it really <clears throat> a nice stamp coming through. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use them, but I th um, I'm thinking that. I was also thinking of a butterfly. Um, I know Nikki did a bird. But I wanted to look at the little girl. I like her. So I think it'd be really cute. And do her in watercolor, perhaps. So I'm going to cut her out, I think. And then you can see the stamp turned out really nice and crisp. These mats really help, and even if you go to the dollar store and have the little thin ones for stamping on, they're still they're very helpful. So, what I'm thinking is to um, have her cut out and have her just in here, like a little girl looking at. You know, even when you're little or whatever, you're going to the church, and my girls are being loud, and you see the nice stained glass. Am I cutting in? <clears throat> so, I don't know. I haven't um, colored her yet, because I still don't even know if I'm using her, so I could just color her after with a little bit of watercolor. I do a little fussy cutting if I can do it and I gotta run right away too to pick up Carly so kind of in between my little time here time frame I might just cut the ribbon right off See, I'm not much of a enjoying the fussy cut. <laughs> I know some people do it and really enjoy it. I'm not. I'm not a f one of those that really enjoy it. There she is. And that's what I'm thinking, but I'm not sure. So, yeah. So I've decided to do her in watercolor pencil crayon. And, yeah, I'm going to do a blue dress. And have it go from there. So it looks good. I stamped also the background onto my card. So then you can see kind of the grass and whatnot in the background. I don't know. So I colored them in with um, these watercolor, royal watercolor pencil crayons. I did the blue and the yellow hat on the little girl, and then I did this um, on her on her flesh. I'm not sure, kind of a fleshy color. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to my brush. And play with that and see how that looks. The dress. And I might 
do some white on there too. We do the hat. And I'm gonna have to cut out a little piece in between her her legs there that are sticking out. And I think it's gonna look really good. So now I decided that it's got that nice look to it that I want, the watercolor. <clears throat> so it's gonna be watercolor on the stained glass iCAD. Then I'm gonna color these ones out, or cut these ones out, and then, yeah. Well, that's a lot of water. Take a little piece. Going too quickly here. And that's how it's looking. So I'm just going to cut them out the same as this girl here. And this girl, I'm just going to take my straight edge and do. Right here, or is, whatever this is called, the knife craft tool. Do it like that. I'm gonna do the other girls as well. Oops, I'm shaking the <laughs> camera, and there goes the dogs again. <clears throat> And what I'm going to do is just ink the edges a bit. And. You do not do that! Okay, so I'm just going to ink these guys around here, these girls. Around the edges a bit. do each one <clears throat> and see how it looks on there. I want to do some white too. I don't know how it's going to come up on the cream. Color some white in there on just the frills and the bottom of the dress. So I'm going to carefully want to ink the inner parts there. Parts that cut out here. Just to get some nice shadow in it, I suppose, or whatever. Looks more crisp. That's how it looks. So they're supposed to be somewhat the same. I do gotta make myself a fourth one too, but these are the ones that are going out, so. And I thought, well, I was just wanting to do something a little different than, you know, a bird or something. So, I like the little girl. use your imagination she could be doing anything And that's that. They look cute. A little different. I really think I have to position my my light somewhere a different way so you guys can see. 
Now for the sediment. I'm not sure if I was going to actually use this one. This one's the happiest business in the world is that of making friends, but I'm not sure. Okay, I made these little sayings, and I don't like them. On here, the way it is, it says, um, Beauty's in God's handwriting, Ralph Waldo Emerson. I don't even know. I don't know. But I don't like the way they cover up cover this up more so I'm actually thinking that maybe I'll use the same but I don't know maybe just stamp it on the black I could do that maybe if I can get just half of this stamp inked up, which is not that easy when it's so small, <laughs> but it is a small stamp and I like that, but I don't want to, okay, let's try that. Now, I'm not sure how well this is going to work on here, because this ink, and I got them at the hardware store, which Oops, when you sell them, they sell them cheaper, the pen sets and the marker sets, I find there. So, I tend to pick them up at the weirdest places, not in the store where they sell, like, the stationery and stuff. They're more expensive there. So, check out the hardware stores. Like, this is a Home Depot or Rona or something like that I went to. And I was, like, in the aisles checking things out while my husband was grabbing wood. And they, these two pens were not too bad. They were like five bucks. But they had a whole pack of uh, markers with all the colors for seven dollars. And I've seen them packs go for way, like all the colors, way more. So, especially at like craft stores. So I'm just going over some of the. You can see the difference. I'm just going over some of the pieces here for the dress lines and stuff and making it more I don't know just more so it stands out a little bit more just a little bit darker some places where I might not have gotten a hit of ink and stuff like that or I cut out some of the stuff because I'm not the best <laughs> Um, at cutting things out, but there we go. And I'm just gonna do her legs a little bit. So I like this pen. It looks really nice. This is although like a nice dry piece, but with just watercolor on it. But I like it. So, yay. Goodbye for me, I think. It's like a little bit of a thin marker end. Fine point kind of a thing. So... I like it though. So that's that.